Hello and welcome to Sensodyne Presents Colors Food Trails Season 2 Powered by Arm & Hammer Appliance Partner Mydea In association with Panadol Migraine, Centrum, Mother's Recipe and Dabar Pudin Hara In today's episode, we learn more about someone who with her personality and presence has dazzled on red carpets across the globe and I know what you're thinking, but it's not me Hi, I'm Elvira Jane and I'm an international model based in Dubai. I have been working with a fashion leading brand such as Gucci, Dolce Gabbana, Prada, among many others, magazines like Harper's Bazaar, Vogue, and I have done many international events on red carpets across the world. I love traveling. I travel every two, three months in a new country and I really love discovering new places, new food, new cuisines, new people. It just keeps me alive. Every country is so unique and so much to give and to share. Okay, I'm really going to enjoy this episode because not only do we have a model guest, we also have our model chef joining us once again. Chef Abs, it's really amazing every time you catwalk into this kitchen, all the ingredients are hoping that you'll pick them. We don't always know what you're going to prepare, but we know that it'll always be a magnum opus of a dish. So it's wonderful to have Thank you. you. Thank you. And of course, uh, we already know that Elvira Jain is a beautiful model. She's worked with the biggest brands in the world. But that's not all. She's also uh, able to speak many, many languages. So you're multilingual. So I wanted to ask you something, Elvira. Can you say something to Chef right now, maybe in a few of those languages? And we'll ask Chef to guess which language it was in. Of course, why not? All right, there you go. What are you Maybe close to Russian. Yeah, it's Russian. It is Russian. Yay. Well done. All right, let's try one more. <laughs> Chef got one. Okay. All right. ¿Qué es lo que vas a preparar? Spanish. Yeah. Sounds hey. like it. Yeah. Sounds like good, he knows good, good, good. as many I've languages been to Spain. as That's I do. Yeah. Nice. Okay, one more, Elvira. He's got two out of three. One more. Can he do Hindi three out of three? Huh? ¿Qué le pregunté? I think he's stuck. Yeah, I think uh, you got him now. Croatian. No. no. Not, but, but but try one more. Ha, uh, chalo, one more guess. Polish? It's close to Russian huh. side only. One of no. those. No. 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 Oh. <laughs> Can you say it again? Cheve pregeti. Cheve pregeti. How are you? No. No. No, I don't know. <laughs> now we're just it's guessing. It's Romanian. Oh, Romanian. Okay, yeah. Near, near, near. Near, near. Chalo, yeah. give it to you. But what were you trying to say, Elvira? I said what I'm I was going to guy. cook. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and after you said that he's a handsome guy, yes. what else did you say? And I asked him what he's going to cook. Ah, okay, <laughs> That's why okay, she called okay. you handsome. Okay, then I'll, I'll ask her to guess my language. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Elvira, for that. Now, of course, we know that Chef is all about bringing amazing food to the table and, and his plating, all of it is always exceptional. Today, we're uh, going to have to obviously design this as per your favorite cities, your favorite food. So tell us, what are your top three cities in the world? My favorite cities are Tokyo, Miami and Maldives. Tokyo, all right, Chef? Miami, Maldives. All okay. right. Your favorite foods, Elvira? It's sushi, sashimi, buckwheat, Okay, squid, interesting. Yeah, salmon. I love squid. Salmon, okay. All right. So you're like a, you're a seafood kind it's of like person. It's like a seafood kind of person. Yes, yeah. got it, got it. Okay. okay. All right, now we're getting somewhere, Chef? Somewhere, somewhere close. Yeah, yeah. Great. I need time to think. Okay. But yeah, seafood, I love seafood. So that is something my forte. All right. So, gonna be easy, yeah. And your favorite festival, Elvira? We also like to know that. I love Easter. Easter! Mm -hmm. The Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. You played that hiding Easter egg things? Yeah, when I was small. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's give me some idea now. Yeah, okay. I think I saw a light bulb go up yes, in your head. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. So, Elvira, now I know that you've pretty much traveled the globe. You've done so much, I think, glamorous work. And one very important part of that is staying fit, staying healthy. What's yeah. your take on those things? I take care of my food. Mm -hmm. I don't eat like fatty food or if I eat one day, I'll make sure the next day I'll stay on a diet or right. I'm going to reduce uh, the fat food. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's very important to take care of yourself because it's not just like food, but food me means like health and, uh, and 
good skin and everything. Absolutely. absolutely. I think she's absolutely right when she says that. Now, I know a lot of my friends who are very keen on staying healthy and fit, and so they're always making sure they get enough vitamin D in their system to keep their immunity stronger, right, Chef? Absolutely. You, as you rightly say, that you need a balanced diet to make sure that you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables so that you can get the vitamin D from those vegetables and fruits. Yeah, yep. correct. And, and you know, like eggs are a great source of vitamin D, and then I, I found out recently, in fact, that you get a whole lot of zinc from seafood food, chicken and beef yeah. and then of course if you do the right kind of fruits like blueberries and grapefruit and vegetables like carrots, sweet potatoes and leafy greens, you'll end up with enough vitamin A, E and C in your system. But let's be honest, how many of us actually shop like that, right? Like when we head out shopping, we're always in a rush, yeah. just picking up what we can see and then heading out of there. So to make sure that you get enough of these multivitamins in your system, uh, you should rely on a good source of strength and which is Centrum. Centrum in fact has all of these multivitamins present in the right amounts and you know daily intake means you get to be stronger, your immune system gets to be stronger. So keep that in mind when you're out shopping the next time. You sound like a doctor now. <laughs> Chef, by the way, I know you were going to be a doctor once upon a I time, right? I was supposed to be a doctor. Yeah, right? I studied medicine for three years wow. and I left it. And did you know that Elvira's grandfather... Told... Yeah, do you want to tell us about that? So your grandfather has, what, a hundred patents to his name? Yeah, so my grandfather used to be a scientist wow, in uh, wow. developing and inventing different parts of machine, of agricultural machines. Ooh, nice, okay. So he has like over hundred patents on his name. Very Great. cool. All right, let's move on now. Chef, it's time to find out what you're going to be cooking for our guest today. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a little bit of a uh, breather. So we're going to get into a break and when we come back, we're going to find out what Chef has in mind today for our guest, Elvira Jen. Welcome back to Sensodyne Presents Colors Food Trail Season 2 powered by Arm & Hammer Appliance Partner Mydea in association with Panadol Migraine, Centrum, Mother's Recipe and Dabar Pudinhara. So Chef, what is the food trail that we are traversing through today? She mentioned about her favourite cities uh, which is uh, Maldives, uh, Miami and Tokyo. Tokyo. So I want to bring those elements to it. Obviously, it's a little bit of Asian. She said she loves squids. Mm -hmm. So obviously, thought of a squid dish. She said buckwheat. So something like buckwheat salad with a squid. And in Maldives, you know, there's a sea there, fresh fish is there, and she loves seafood. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do a, a Maldivian curry, which is called Mas Riha. So to make Mas Riha, mm -hmm. what we're going to do, we're going to make the base of the fish curry. Right. For that one, I'm going to use some garlic, some onions, saute them in olive oil, then spices like turmeric, chili, uh, fennel seeds, uh, which is a very different flavor, mm -hmm. and use the coconut milk to cook the prawns into it, that one. Nice. So once that is cooked, then I'm going to do the salmon with that one. So I'll start with the curry base. I have a hot pan here now, a little bit of olive oil. So do you cook, Elvira? I just boil buckwheat. <laughs> All right, okay, like a porridge. That's an art. Do you know that <laughs> boiling buckwheat is art? This is, this is the first time I cook buckwheat. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to cook buckwheat first time. Okay. Because she asked for buckwheat. I uh -huh. never used buckwheat before. Okay. Yeah, but has it ever happened, Chef, when you're in the kitchen, you're, you know, about to get started on a big meal and suddenly you're like, okay, I don't know how to do this. I mean, like it happened today, does that happen in your restaurants as well? Uh, not in restaurants because menu is designed, but it does yeah. happen many times because yeah. I don't have a knowledge of the whole world cuisine. Right, and then you so look it up. we have to search, we have to study books. Mm. Okay, Think so I'm going to add coconut milk here. It looks delicious. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. See, now all the spice is going to balance with that coconut milk thing. So it's not going to give you that spiciness. So as you can see, this mild gravy is ready here. Mm -hmm. Chef, what is your favorite dish to cook? That's a very difficult question, <laughs> like you are asking in a parent, 
Yeah. Who's your favorite child? <laughs> I mean, it's not possible, you know. You, though I have uh, some favorite dishes, but I love everything I cook. Yeah, you're gonna see this, Elvira. Once the food comes in front of you, you're gonna have a tough time telling chef what you like yeah. more. I can smell that coconut nice. Okay, this pan is hot. I'm gonna just pan fry the salmon now. To right. pan fry the salmon, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take this salmon. I'm just gonna coat with the sesame seed. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, look at that. Again, the Japanese cuisine, they use a lot of sesame, so I'm adding that element to this one. Nice. It looks extremely good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the plating. Because see, sometimes what happens when you wash this while it's cooking, it looks normal. Right. When it's come together on the plate, right. it's like, look completely different. That's when it becomes a wow 300 thing. dirham dish. Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Elvira, is there a dish that you paid for? that you felt like was wow? Honestly, I always go to a lot of restaurants, yeah. inclusive like Michelin stars. So I've been trying the restaurants which are like Michelin and you feel like it's a small piece of uh, food and then in a huge plate. And yeah. it's been so many of them that uh, it's very difficult to comment mm. particular. Yeah. Well, have you tried Indian food? And have you tried Indian street food? Indian street food, no, but Indian food, um, I like the chicken tikka, but if it's not spicy. Yeah. And um, the tandoori roti also is nice. Oh, nice. Ah. Yeah. So next thing that we're going to cook is squid, your favorite one. So what I'm doing here, I have a hot pan here. I'm just going to take these squid, which are nicely crisscrossed, scored. Okay, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of gremolata. Basically, this gremolata is thyme, rosemary, some parsley, some little bit of garlic, and a hint of chili, not too much. Okay, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put on the pan. <laughs> but it's so healthy also, no? Like it yes. contains so much of protein. Yes, correct, yeah. By the way, chef, do you know like who wants to lose like weight? Uh, in Russia, uh, people have like a buckwheat diet. So they feed like five or ten days just on buckwheat and they lose like ten kilos. Wow. Ah, that's the secret how you're skinny. <laughs> how many years have you been on buckwheat? No, no. <laughs> I do love to eat buckwheat in the morning, mm. but uh, I haven't been on a diet. But right. yes, like uh, my mom and so many of my friends have been on this diet and they've been losing like ten kilos easily. Wow. And the wow. advantage, you don't actually put it back. Oh, oh, you don't gain the weight back you when you go back, back on regular food? That's the food? good no, no. trick. Wow. Look yeah. at how that squid curl. yes, squid's curling they, up. When they curl, yeah. they go nice, the edges there. The cut. Right. Yeah. Now you know why I charge you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cooking is done. We're just waiting for plating. Yes. Before we do plating, I'm gonna clean the surface. All right. Well, you know, Chef, this in your hand right here, the Arm & Hammer baking soda is the original kitchen multitasker. I think over the pandemic, all of us spent enough time in our houses cleaning and cooking, yeah. right? And I found out that this is actually fantastic, whether it's uh, you trying to clean countertops, or you trying to you know clean scratch free any stainless steel equipment that you use like chef is doing right now it's also great for uh, safely washing your fruits and vegetables so really many many amazing jobs can get done with this one product you're absolutely right just take a arm and hammer baking soda sprinkle on the damp cloth put it on the surfaces scrub it let it stay for a couple of seconds and then just clean it Wow. You know, I like that it's super effective and that it has so many uses. So you can use it for countertops, for stainless steel sinks, um, also for ovens, you know that. And that's not all. Plastic containers and microwaves as well. In fact, you can clean it inside the microwave just as well as outside. Just follow the steps, you know, and remember that if you want a nice, fresh, clean smelling kitchen, then replace the product every 30 days and you're good to go. By the way, I am convinced. Yeah. Speaking of all the insides of microwaves, the insides of Karishma and Elvira now are very <laughs> hungry. So let's get on with this, yes, chef. Yes, we are Come done. On. Cleaning is done. So we're going to plate your food. Mm -hmm. I know you're hungry. 
Okay. Yeah, and it looks so good that only watching it makes us feel so yeah. hungry. What I'm doing here in buckwheat, I'm just adding some vegetables like tomatoes, peppers, cucumber, mixing it and nice making a salad out of it. You know, See? it's the first time I eat a buckwheat salad. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Yay. See, something new today. It's very creative. Yeah, thank you. And then I'm adding a little ponzu dressing. This is Japanese? Japanese, yes, with a little bit of soya in that to give it a little saltiness. Okay, I'm going to squeeze a little lemon. And a little bit of the gremolata that I'm using for the squid to get mm -hmm. that flavor inside. Oh yeah, this is going to be nice. Yeah, can't wait to try it. Looks so delicious, right? You know, it's funny, anytime I go to a restaurant, I never order their salads. But you see sometimes these salads and you're like, you know, I should get one of these the next time I'm out. Okay, that's the base for the squid. Wow, look at those colors. The presentation is so nice. But if I know Chef Abs, he'll say, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> it's not done yet. Yeah. I'm sprinkling these tobikos around. It's uh, see like the Tokyo, so the Japanese food. So give a touch of it, okay? And obviously, a little bit of pickled ginger on side. This is something a little different than usual salad thing, mm -hmm. okay? But it's like an optional thing. If you want to try, you can try just to cleanse your palate. Right. Okay. Okay. Now time for your. Masa Riha curry with this prawns. So I'm going to put some prawns in this shell. I'm going to give you the look of your Maldive seaside. Are you feeling happier already, Alvira? Yeah, like you're so on only, holiday? only by watching the yeah. dish, I feel like I'm in Maldives. <laughs> So yeah, as she mentioned to me that she loved, uh, you know, Maldives, uh, coastal sites, seafood. So I thought let's put that touch into a presentation where you can see the plate with the rice that resembles the sand mm -hmm. and the stones that like a beach kind yes. of a thing. On top you have this scallop shell and all the seafood sitting there. So you can see this one, you know these, uh, you have these seaweeds growing in the sea? Yes. Yeah. So that's the resemble of this tulle. Beautiful chef. Yes. Okay. Elvira, beautiful Elvira. Are you ready for your equally beautiful And I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon yes. to it. So oh, nice. Give a kick to the salmon. Okay. And that's ready for you. Yay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Yes. Alright then, plating is done. This is my favourite part of the show when you get to dig in, Elvira, go for it. So I'll try first the salad. Mm -hmm. Yes. She's mm. gone in for the buckwheat. That's delicious. Thank it's you. It's so flavourful. I love it. How about the squid? Mmm. Mmm. So nice. You get that herbs and rosemary yes. and thyme into it's that one. It's super flavourful and it tastes amazing and it's not spicy. It's just wow. Thank you. Fantastic. Just right. Always with Chef Abs. Always. <laughs> now time for the curry. Mm -hmm. Okay, All let's right. try it. This is going to be heavy plate, yeah. So I'll try the salmon with the curry. Yeah. Mm. Super. I have no words. It's just amazing. I love it. Thank you. How's the, <laughs> is the curry spicy? No. It's, it's creamy. It's creamy and it's just flavorful, which is amazing. Thank you. That's Love great. It. Elvira, you're super graceful. If I were you, I wouldn't be eating very, very tiny bites, but I'm happy to see that there's, <laughs> you know, this kind of eating as well. But there is an age-old question that needs to be put to rest. And when we come back after the break, we're going to find out what came first, the chicken or the egg. Ah, uh, no. <laughs>
Welcome back to Sensodyne Presents Colors Food Trail Season 2 powered by Arm & Hammer Appliance Partner Mydea in association with Panadol Migraine, Mother's Recipe, Centrum and Dabar Pudin Hara. Now Chef, you had told us that there's going to be some kind of fun to look forward to with this Easter love that Elvira has. So tell us what's going on here. As she mentioned to me that she loves Easter festivals, so mm -hmm. what I have done, she also loves meringue. Yes. So I have made pavlova mm -hmm. out of the meringue, mm -hmm. which is like a nest shape. As you can see here, this is a nest shape pavlova. It's beautiful. And then I made the eggs with the white chocolate mousse and right. inside it has a mango mousse. So when you cut it, you can see the egg yolk. Wow. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here, we have the sour cherries here. I'm just going to pour this one. So chef, that yeah. you're working so beautifully with this egg. Hame bataiye what came first, the chicken or the egg? Come on, lay this to rest. Uh, egg. Hmm. Why? Because then the chicken came after egg. Okay. The chicken came out of the egg. No, but seriously, did you first cook in your whole entire career? You first made something out of an egg or a chicken? Uh, egg. So then egg came first. Yes. You're right. <laughs> because when you start learning, you always make an omelet first. Correct. Boil egg first, hmm. and then you start doing other stuff. Right. Yeah. This is beautiful. Ah, this is like a wholesome, Christmassy, Eastery yeah. kind of thing, you know? You just like it's so It's a many... very festive one. Yeah, it's a very festive one. I'm just going to put now here, a little bit of mango thule. Just putting a little pistachio on top. That's a real masterpiece. Yes, and then finish with a little bit a of... real artist. And what's this now? This is a passion fruit because there's a sweetness there, so right. I want to cut with the sourness. Right. Okay, you have the berries there, but the passion fruit has a very good punch. Is this the prettiest dessert you have ever had, whether it was Easter or not? Definitely, yes. Can go. we try it? Yes, please go ahead. I know you're waiting for it. Let's try it. Here you go. Careful your knife. Mm. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> I think you should have a spoonful of it. Right, I want delicious. the berries yeah. and the cherries and everything. Elvira, take a nice big bite for us. Yes. Come on. Yeah, go for it all. That meringue has that crunch. Mm. Amazing. You should try as well. There is I a spoon. Will. I will. I'm going to grab a spoon for myself and make sure that I get a good chunk of that uh, dessert for myself. Definitely the most beautiful dessert that I have ever seen. Thank you, Elvira, for coming Thank on to so our much. show. I hope you enjoyed all the food that Chef prepared for you. Yes. Great. Thank you, Chef Abs. Thank, thank you, you, Chef, so much. It was really amazing. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank and you. thank you for watching. Keep watching. Next week, we'll be back, same place, same time, right here on Colors Food Trail. Who knows where this trail will lead to next?